Looking for a healthier fall side dish? Get ready for the most delicious way to eat your greens in french fry form. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor from The Girl on Bloor. I'm all about showing you how to make easy, healthy recipes that you can live your best life. So I consider myself a vegetable lover, right? I pretty much love them all, but there's just a couple that I've never been able to enjoy. Eggplant and green beans. I find the texture of eggplant off-putting and green beans are just completely tasteless and bland to me. If you also find yourself bored to tears over green beans, I've got an amazing way to jazz them up and make you actually want to eat them. Say hello to green bean fries. Coat them in panko and parmesan cheese, then bake or air fry until golden brown and crispy. I'll be showing you both methods in today's video. You can enjoy them any time of the year, but they make an amazing side dish for fall, so bring them to your family potluck or the holiday table, whatever you'd like. If you're feeling these fries, check out my free seven day fall meal plan filled with other amazing recipes for the best season of the year. I've linked to it in the description of this video. Now let's get to cooking our healthy fries. First up, I'll show you the air fryer method. Preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees for eight minutes. We want it to be nice and hot when you actually go to cook your beans. I use the Philips XXL air fryer, which is perfect for larger servings of food, but any air fryer will do here. While you're waiting for that to heat up, you'll take one large bowl and add one cup of panko breadcrumbs, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Just a heads up that if you wanna make these fries vegetarian, you will need to use vegetarian Parmesan cheese as not all of them are vegetarian. You may also want to use buttermilk in place of the egg. Mix that all up together and set aside. Now add two eggs to another medium sized bowl and whisk these together until well combined. Now you just have to wash two cups of green beans and then trim the ends off of them. No need to do any more chopping. You want to leave the beans whole to resemble french fries. Once that's done, get your dredging station set up and toss your green beans in a large bowl with a quarter cup of flour, then take one handful at a time and coat in the egg mixture, then coat them in the panko mixture. When the beans are coated, transfer them to your air fryer basket until all the beans are coated and in there. Season them all generously with salt and pepper, then spray with some cooking spray over top. I like to use avocado oil cooking spray because it's a bit better for you than the regular stuff, but any spray will work. Now you're ready to cook. Air fry your beans for five minutes. After the five minutes are up, you'll remove the basket, tossing your beans gently, and air fry for another five minutes. That's all they need. They'll come out super crispy and golden and just so delicious. I love the air fryer method because in my opinion, they turn out crispiest this way, but you can totally also do them in the oven. Let's dive into that method now. This time you'll take the same dredging technique where you wash and trim two cups of green beans, then coat in flour and dip in the egg mixture, followed by coating in our special panko breadcrumb mixture. Only this time you will preheat the oven to 425 degrees before you do all that. With the magic of video editing, our oven is preheated and now it's time to bake our beans. When they're all coated, you'll transfer the beans to a parchment lined baking sheet, seasoning generously with salt and pepper and spraying with cooking spray just as you did with the air fryer method. Now you will bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until the coating is brown and crispy. Make sure to watch them carefully so that the coating doesn't burn. You want it golden but not charred. See how easy they are? Now we all know fries aren't fries unless a dipping sauce is involved, so I will also show you how to make the absolute best ever garlic mayo. You can dip them in pretty much anything you'd like, including ketchup or store-bought chipotle or garlic mayo, but my homemade version is vegan and you will be looking for excuses to put it on anything. Trust me. For the garlic mayo, you will need to mix it up in a blender, food processor, or magic bullet. So get that out and then add one quarter cup of unsweetened plain soy milk, half a cup of sunflower oil, one teaspoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and two cloves of minced garlic. I know, I know, the soy milk is kind of weird, but I promise it's what helps the oil emulsify into a mayo-like sauce. You can take this technique and apply it to other types of mayos doing different add-ins like spices, herbs, chipotle peppers, and hot sauces. Okay, blend everything together, and in just a few seconds, it'll whip up into mayo like magic. Now you are ready to thoroughly enjoy. You can store these green bean fries in the fridge for up to five days and reheat in a 400 degree oven for five to seven minutes to crisp them up again. So it's nice to know that you can make them in advance for a party or what have you. Do not microwave them though, because then they won't be fries anymore. I recommend serving these with some baked chicken thighs. I've got an amazing recipe on my blog and you can never go wrong with some roasted potatoes. These beans would also be really delicious in a Buddha bowl or fall salad. They truly are the best new way to eat your vegetables. Don't forget that there are even more delicious fall side dishes up on my blog. I've linked to many more options for you to take a look at in the description. Don't forget to download your free seven day fall meal plan in the description as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share with friends and family, and tag me on Instagram when you give these green bean fries a try. Thanks for hanging out in my kitchen today and I will see you in the next video.